And many people have raised concerns about Hartford's shelters being able to accommodate a growing number of homeless people there. Channel 3's Mark Robbins joins us live now outside one of the centers. Good morning, Mark. I'm sure it was a busy night last night at some of the centers. Yes, very busy for the three centers uh, uh, in the city of Hartford and in cities throughout the state of Connecticut because obviously when the numbers, when the temperatures drop, then the population and the numbers that go into the center rise. And during this time of rising population, they're noticing a disturbing trend. I have seen more pregnant women outside more single women outside than I have seen in the last five years. It's a disturbing situation, and Hartford is down a center. The Willie Ware Center in the North End is under repair. So this is taxing the city's ability to handle the situation that is now nightly or will be very soon. That's why Hartford is asking surrounding communities for assistance. Homelessness is part of any city, sad to say, and so the whole state needs to help. You know, uh, the wealthy towns and cities as well as city like Hartford. As of January 2018, Connecticut had nearly 4,000 people experiencing homelessness on any given day. That's according to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. As a larger community beyond just Hartford that we need to talk about mm -hmm. because ultimately it's about people mm -hmm. not ending up outside during the winter. Now, there are three cities, as a, uh, three centers here in the city of Hartford that I mentioned. They're open from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m., seven days a week, and you can also find shelter and warmth at the Hartford Public Library. Reporting live in Hartford with the Mobile Newsroom, Mark Robbins, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.